The heavy fog may have delayed her arrival by more than an hour. But for Grimsby, it was worth the wait. First, there was an insight into life as a trawlerman in the 1950s. If her mind at times was subconsciously on her baby, this old sea dog took her mind off her bump, even if the cameras remained focused upon it. And since they'd waited for hours, the Duchess thawed the mood with her first walkabout since falling pregnant. Careful Kate wasn't about to be tricked into saying if it, as she cleverly put it, was a boy or a girl. She shook my hand and then I asked her if the baby was moving and she said yes, very much so. She was so elegant. So the baby was uh, kicking? Yes, the baby has been kicking. Great. And did you ask her about names, gender? No, no, I don't think she'd tell she us. She said yes, it is. On to Humberside Fire and Rescue Service and a Prince's Trust project, the Duchess's first encounter with her father-in-law's charity. The nearby hospice wasn't about to pass up an opportunity to meet the future queen. I'm waiting for you to be queen. Oh. <laughs> Sitting easy was very much the order of the day. And would she be tempted by the quick way down? No, Bridget Jones moment for Kate this time. I might land a crash at the end of the road. It's going to be great for Evie to say, have a picture on the side and say, there I am, look, meeting the Queen with uh, maybe the future king in her stomach, which is unbelievable, isn't it? So, two for one. If Kate could now feel her baby kicking, a noisy welcome by a thousand students wasn't about to calm the young heir-to-be. And it got even noisier for baby Windsor. Inside the new academy, the string of queen hits performed for Kate perhaps an omen the Duchess is expecting a princess. Paul Harrison, Sky News, Grimsby.